Okay, hopefully today's meeting will go well and it will get recorded and we won't have any um, technical issues. We'll see what happens. We still have three minutes until people are going to join. I'm going to plug my computer in. It is low. Emma is Emma, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I am a little frustrated that the, like, I think it ended up actually being like the Zoom administration that changed the whole like thing where you require a password. Mm -hmm. which is fine, like I get it, but it's still kind of like, man, that's just one extra step that somebody could mess up to yeah. not get into the meeting, and I'm like, dang it, I want it to be so easy. Yeah, I actually didn't have to use the password for some reason this time. Oh, really? Oh, good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just clicked on the link, and I didn't even need to use it. So. Oh, good. Hopefully it won't make people do that then. And then yesterday I had a virtual class with my arts, with my sixth grade students. And I don't know exactly what happened, but like it didn't record it or like the recording didn't get saved or something. So then I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. So frustrating. <laughs> Are you feeling like you're doing okay with your homework and everything? Like, do you feel like you have enough time to do everything? Honestly, like it's a lot, but I mean, I'm getting it done. It's just taking me, like, a long time. Yeah. What class do you think is, like, taking the longest or has the most stuff? Probably math. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just a lot of, like, stuff to do, so. Yeah, so many little practice um, equations, and I can't even imagine that. I'm trying to help my daughter with her fifth grade math and I'm like, I don't even know. Yeah. Well, I thought Garrick was going to come because he emailed me to make sure that the meeting was at this time and oh yeah, we have another person. Yay, I love more people. Yay, it is Garrick. I'm happy to see you. Yay, Ryan's here. This makes me so happy. Yay, Sam's here. Oh, I like your potato head picture, Sam. I don't know who else is going to join us. Ryan, how are you doing? Ryan, can you hear me? Hmm. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. How are you doing? Are you surviving? Uh, if you think so, 
Okay, Sam, how about you? How are you doing? Sam, I cannot hear you. Hopefully we can get something figured out. I don't know. How about now? <laughs> nice background, Ryan. Oh, hmm. I'm trying to see if Sam can talk. Sam, I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know if you can see me. Oh, Sam can talk. Okay, good. How are you doing? Oh, good. You can hear. Okay. Okay, Sam's doing good. Awesome. Yay. Okay, we'll give uh, everybody like uh, maybe two more minutes to see if anybody else is going to join us, and then we'll just jump on in. Um, I just wanted to check in with everybody and see if you were surviving, if there's anything in particular that was like really stressing you out, um, because I know that this is really crazy. Thoughts, feelings, concerns. Nobody wants to share. Not particularly. Okay, that's fair. I know for me, it's been really stressful just because like, I'm trying to give all of my students like as many resources as possible, but then that makes them feel like overwhelmed sometimes. And I'm like, I don't want to bombard everybody with 900 emails, but I want to make sure that people have the information that they need. And I'm like, am I am I giving enough? Am I not giving enough? Is it too little? Is it too much? Like, what can I do? And then I'm totally mom failing it with my kid. Like, blah, I don't even know. So it's going to be okay. We're going to, we're going to make it. We're going to survive. We are going to survive. I am confident. Um, okay. So Sam just asked about the speeches for next week. It will be in an outline. Then we will share them starting next week. Okay. So let me, um, kind of go over, uh, what we're going to do. I'm going to answer that question, um, for you in just a second, Sam. But um, you guys will have different options as far as your speeches. So I'm going to send out a little like uh, spreadsheet to sign up to present your speeches. And there will be um, three options. One option will be to sign up for a time during our virtual class time. Um, Another option would be to sign up for just a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with me, and then I would send you the link. And then the third option is just to videotape or video record yourself, and then um, just send me the link um, for what you want to do. So there are a couple of different ways that you can do that. If you or if you know of anybody who doesn't have any technology at all, um, I am... 100% serious when I said I will like schedule a time to meet you at a park and you can deliver your speech to me from like six feet away like I will I will figure out that time like I will do everything that I can to make it so that you guys can present your speeches to me um, the outline um, needs to be turned in before you present your speech and then when you actually deliver your speech you can have your outline in front of you so um, that you can refer to it while you are speaking. Um, you are not required to have a visual aid for this expository speech, but you're welcome to. So if you want to make a PowerPoint, um, you would uh, be able to share your screen just like I can share my screen, for example, and you would have your PowerPoint or whatever it was that you had. So for this week, you just have two tasks. You have this little outlining activity, and I've never used the like Google template thing before, but I set it up that way because it seemed like it was easier. 
um, but some people were having a hard time with it. So feel free to just email it to me because I didn't really understand how that integration worked with ManageBox. Um, you can also like physically print it off and like handwrite and then just take a picture of it and email me the picture if you want. Um, that's technically due today by 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> And then tomorrow uh, is the due date for the quiz, which is just a Google form. Um, you'll just go through and answer these questions. Most of this should not be surprising. And if you are not sure of these answers, you can use whatever notes you have, or you can go back and look at the lecture notes that I have posted before on the communication model, nonverbal communication, um, outlining, those kinds of things. So those are the two things that are due for me for this week. And then next week, um, let's see the exact day. Next Tuesday is when your expository outline is due. And then next Thursday will be the first day um, that I ask people to present during our like virtual Zoom class. I also sent out a little poll question asking you guys like when was a good time to have virtual speech class because if this is conflicting with another class or for whatever reason, if it just doesn't fit with your schedule. There is this little graph, which I see now like has extra things here. Sorry about that. Um, so far, when I go to my graph, <clears throat> oh, I didn't make, I didn't give it a title. That was silly. There. Um, when I look at the responses, it looks like this is still generally the best time for me, um, or at like. A little bit later so this time or like 1 p.m. seems to be the best time um, for most people so if we do need to bump it back let me know Derek what time is your next uh, meeting at uh, it's one to two okay is that um, what class is that that's for miss Moore's class Oh, okay, um, cool. So I don't want to conflict with anybody else's classes, but I did want to just say like, hey, if there's a time that works better for people, um, you know, if 12.30 works a little bit better than noon, um, we can do that. So I think of, uh, most people have responded. So I'll take a look at that in more detail. And if we need to adjust, um, we totally can. But for um, the upcoming week for our class, um, I will send out a little spreadsheet so that you can sign up. So that means if you are finished like before Thursday, you can certainly set up a time with me um, to Zoom one on one if you want to present your speech that way, or you can plan on signing up to. Um, present during our virtual class, or um, you can tell me that you're going to record it and send it to me by X time. Emma just asked, like, for our speech, should we just read off the outline, or can we base it off the outline and go into more detail? That is a great question, Emma. You should not just read from the outline. If you only read the outline, that would probably only be, like, two minutes, and your speech has to be longer than that. So an outline is just there to guide you. Um, and then you should use that to go into more detail. If you have chosen a topic that you know a lot about, your outline then would just be there to help you stay organized, to make sure you present your introduction and your conclusion. Those are absolutely the things that people most um, miss the most. They forget to do their introduction and they forget to do their conclusion. They just, for some reason, our nervousness gets the better of us, and we're like, today I'm going to talk about dogs, and this is my favorite type of dog, and then you just jump into the details, and you forget all sense of your um, 
organization. And for this speech, um, organization is a huge part of your grade. Like that's one of the main things that I'm assessing you on for this um, speech. So you want to be really, really clear on your organization. You want to have that complete introduction with an attention getter, a preview, and a thesis. You want to have clear transition statements between your main points, and you want to wrap up with a solid conclusion. So it sounds kind of repetitive when you're doing it as a speech, but it's really helpful for the audience because a speech is not the same as like a written essay or a written piece of work. So definitely use your outline as a guide and um, you can have it right there in front of you and glance down at it, refer to it, make sure you're staying on track, but you should be able to go into those details and practice in advance so that you can see like how long it is. Okay, other questions? Um, let's see, oh, a couple of other things. Midterm grades, I had to post those on Monday by 5 p.m. So if for some reason you were missing anything that could have had like a pretty big impact on your midterm grade, like if you hadn't turned in your um, effective speaker short response paper, um, then that would have really impacted your grade. You can still turn that in. So if you are missing anything, please um, turn that in. Um, I think I was of people. Uh, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, Garrett, did you get yours turned into me? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, cool. And Ryan, did you get yours turned in? No, no, I did not. Okay, so that's just a short response paper. Remember, it's just like one to two pages. You're just choosing a famous speaker, reading a couple of their speeches or listening to one of their speeches, and you're just talking about what are the things uh, about them as a speaker that make them really effective. Do they have a particular style or tone that is really effective? Do they use... Um, specific literary devices, like maybe they use a lot of metaphor, like Martin Luther King used a lot of metaphor to really connect to the audience. Um, are, do they use particular um, like turns of phrase to connect to their audience? Like what makes them a really effective speaker? And this is just a short response, like I said, one to two pages, double spaced. Um, so I really encourage you to um, finish that up. I think everybody else on here has done it. So yeah, just um, yeah, just take some time and try to bust that out. And uh, if you're not sure of the exact details, remember, I don't know exactly how it looks when you guys look at your manage back, but if for some reason, like this is just showing like the current tasks and an upcoming one, if you want to see like all the tasks for this class, just click on show all tasks and you can see like the older tasks. Sorry, some of these are like drafts. Um, it, all these pink things are lecture notes and then this is that effective speaker short response. This was technically due like the week after we, cause let's see, Friday the 13th of March was the last day that I was at the school building. And then the following week we had um, supply pickup. So that following week was when that was due. So if you're not really sure what to do, if you click on it, it'll tell you like, choose a famous speaker, write a short response paper to summarize their style and the effective speaking devices. And it should just be one to two pages, easy peasy. There is for you guys at the bottom, there will be a place for you to submit your um, paper. So please get that done and get your outlining activity done. And um, email me as much as you need if you have more questions about your informative speech or just anything, personal project stuff. Um, if you have questions about personal projects, I happened to um, have a chat with some other kids in one of our video chats 
Um, I'm not sure if it was this one that I posted or if it was this one. It might have been this one. Yes, on Thursday, April 2nd, um, I answered a bunch of questions about personal projects. So you just need to go to the messages tab um, of our manage back and scroll down to April the 2nd. And this, um, I answered a bunch of questions about personal projects. So if you're not really sure what you're doing there, um, let me know. I encourage you to watch these little videos. And if for some reason you can't find them, I have a YouTube also. Like I link these all on my YouTube. So um, that's pretty much all I wanted to go over today. I always cover the same things on uh, Tuesday and Thursday. So um, on Tuesday, I went over uh, a little PowerPoint and I can go over that with you now. This just has to do with um, the uh, blah, blah, blah. presentation basics. And on Tuesday, I didn't know that they had changed the settings to require a password. And so I just went ahead and recorded the video lecture. So you can just rewatch that if you want to know some presentation basics. Um, it is pretty straightforward and um, easy peasy. So go back and watch that video if you have other questions. And like I said, email me if you have any additional questions. But I encourage you to watch those little videos. It'll just save you some time. Thoughts, questions, confer, uh, concerns, life affirmations. What is something good that's been going on with all of you guys? Anything good? You can type it in the chat if you don't want to speak, or you can tell me. Nobody has anything good. Everything is terrible. Your book just came in the mail the other day. Pretty interesting. Oh, yay, new books. That's good. Ryan said that it was kind of, or showed that it was kind of iffy. Ryan, what's something that's been kind of okay? I uh, listen to a lot more music. Yeah, I okay. Another, I just ordered a Jimi Hendrix cassette. Nice, nice. Sam says, I got to go mountain biking for the past few days when the weather was really nice. Yeah, the weather has been super nice, and I encourage you to get outside today. Emma, anything good? Uh, a few weeks ago, I got to help make, uh, like, over 2,000 coronavirus test kits. So that was kind of interesting. That's amazing. How did you do that? How did you get involved with that? Uh, my friend's mom is a part owner at Primary Health and they uh -huh. need help making the kits. And so uh, her daughter and I helped make them. That's so cool. That's awesome. I've been sewing masks as well for, for some of my friends and um, one of my family members is currently deployed overseas, and so I'm going to make a set of masks for him and uh, some of the people in his squadron. I can't, I don't have enough to make them for everyone, but I can make enough for like, you know, the 15 or 20 people that are like in his little pod. So hopefully that will be good. Okay. Well, if, if nobody has any other questions, then I'm going to bounce and let you guys go get on to your other stuff. Um, I think you guys are all amazing. I miss seeing your faces so much. Um, reach out to each other. Uh, if you have other platforms to keep in touch, like Marco Polo or Facebook Messenger or other video chat things, um, definitely keep in touch because we definitely need that. I definitely need it. I'm going crazy not interacting with people because I'm super extrovert so this totally sucks for me I hate it um but yeah so keep in touch and email me if you have any other questions okay guys bye